well now the Adelaide guitar king who doesn't actually play guitars, he makes them. And as Lucy Polkinghorn found out, there's something very unique about his creations. The aluminium has a totally unique bluesy sort of sound which can't be um, found on a wooden guitar. Which parts are a genuine car parts? The uh, dash script is uh, an actual dash script of a 1959 Cadillac, very, very rare. These are some of the coolest and hottest guitars you will ever see. Limited edition. All here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really, really nice. Just uh, resonates really well. There's nothing like hearing them and standing on this side watching them being played. Strangely enough, Dave Gartland can't play the guitar, but he sure knows how to make one. A metal worker by trade, Dave started building the instruments out of aluminium as a hobby, inspired by his love of 1950s rockabilly music. All the sheet metal work side, uh, obviously I, I buy the necks, um, buy in all the components, uh, fit all that myself, and then do a dry fit, take them to the painters, and then the fun is then put them together, ready for someone to play. And the Adelaide craftsman isn't short of volunteers. His metal designs have caught the attention of musos around the country. Steve Gregory plays lead guitarist in two local bands. What's the difference um, between the ones that you usually play to an aluminium guitar? Just the tone quality is a little bit different. It's a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper, like in terms of like uh, the way the note sort of springs out of the guitar a little bit more, and just sort of has a bit more of a metallic kind of tone to it, as opposed to the wood has a bit more of a rounded edge yeah. kind of thing. It's, yeah. So perfect for the style of music that you guys play. Oh, definitely, definitely, really, really good for the you know the rockabilly kind of stuff. In just two years, Dave's made twenty guitars, every one completely unique. The most impressive of his collection are his car guitars. So a lot of the inspiration that comes um, for your guitars uh, are from 1950s cars. Yes, um, obviously the two American cars, well to me, if you ask anyone which American car is the 1957 Chevy or the 1959 Cadillac. Uh, so that was the inspiration for this uh, guitar here. I tried to be uh, inspired by the, obviously the fins is the most prominent part of the 1959 Cadillac and the lights but uh, the shape that runs down here, straight down into the, the, this shape, resembles the actual roof of the Cadillac, and the underside actually represents the, the wheel arch as well. And his latest creation is the ultimate boy's toy, the Ducati. But he isn't planning on stopping there. If you have a car that's not likely to be put on the road, or. Um, you have some old parts, let's just use those parts and incorporate that into a guitar. Mm -hmm.